Hello, my name is Jason Murray and I'm an architecture consulting engineer with Cisco Systems. This is a fourth in a five part video series which walks you through the initial setup of UCS to get you to the point where you can install UC on UCS. In this video, UCS has been configured and a service profile has been associated with the server. It is now ready for software install. I will go through the installation of VMware's ESXi4 to get the server ready to install UCS. So let's get started. All right. So I'm currently on chassis 2, and the first thing I'm going to do is go to my server 2 and bring up the KVM console. So I go to the general tab, and click on KVM console. Now I'm looking at server 2's console. Seeing this message, it tells me there's nothing installed on the server or it can't find its operating system. What I want to do now is install ESXi on it. So I'll go to the tools menu and then launch virtual media. What this does is bring up a window to let me add an ISO image. So now I'll go to add image. Then I'll pick a bootable ISO image to boot from. Now in order to use that image, you have to map it by checking this box next to your image file. Once the image is mapped, do not close this window out or the mapping will be removed. Now what I'll do is hit enter to start the install. I'll press enter again to start the installation. Now some parts of the install take some time to go through, waiting on things to extract. When I get to those parts, I'll skip ahead to the end of the test, so we don't have to sit through and watch the dots go across your screen. This is one of those places, so I'll move it forward some. So now it's to the point where it's loading the software and modules needed for installation. I'll go ahead and move it up a little bit more. Okay, so now I'm at the install portion. I'll go ahead and hit enter to start the installation. And now the EULA, I can hit F11 and continue. It scanned for my devices, and these are the devices available to install on. Since we are installing UC on UCS, the only supportable way at the making of this video is to install ESXi locally on your B-Series server. Since that's what I'm installing it on, I'm going to choose my local drive. Alright, so it's ready to install ESXi. I'll press F11 to continue. And now it's installing. Again, I'll move the video up to when it's finished. And installation is complete. Now before I reboot, I'm going to close out my mapping to the ISO I made earlier by closing out this window. Now it warns me that the drives will be unmapped, which we want, so we'll hit yes. And then we'll hit enter to reboot. And once again, I'll skip through to when the server is finished rebooting. Okay, so the server is finished rebooting and now I'm at the VMware console. Now what I need to do is configure the server with an IP so I can reach it via my vSphere client. I'll press F2 to configure it. Now I'm asked to log on. Since this is a brand new installation, the root password is blank. Now that I'm logged in, I'll arrow down to Configure Management Network and press Enter. I'll arrow down to IP Configuration. And now I'll arrow down and use the spacebar to select Set Static IP Address. I'll put my IP address in. subnet mask, and my gateway. And I'll hit OK to save. Now I'll hit Escape and Y to save changes. I'll hit Escape, Escape again, and now I'm back to the login screen. And that's it. Now what I'll do is I'll minimize this window and open up my vSphere client to connect to the server. So I have the IP address of the server. Now I'll put in root and there's no password. So I hit log on. I'll ignore the security warning here. And I'm connected to my server. I'll hit OK in the 60 day evaluation notice. And that's all there is to it. Now that I have ESXi installed, I can start building my VM and getting my UC app installed and running. And that's what I'll do in the last video of this series, where I'll go through installing Call Manager 8. Thanks for watching, and always thanks for choosing Cisco.